You know, wilderness areas like this create some incredible habitat for wildlife. And the beaver have definitely done a job changing the stream bed here to a flowage that can suit their needs. You know, this also suits the needs of many other animals. Big game animals can come in here to water in drought conditions. Nesting waterfowl, it's great habitat for that. But I'll tell you, if you ever get in and around beavers in urban areas, they can cause a lot of problems. This afternoon, we're going to spend a little time with wildlife damage management expert Blair Waite on a trap line that's controlling beavers in and around damage areas. We're actually going to relocate some beaver to show you how it's done. The beaver colony is accepted in its natural habitat, but the alterations that he causes in the manipulation of the habitat uh, when he interacts with human beings um, is when the problem arises. Imagine this tree uh, that they've felled here uh, over the top of your house. Imagine the $600, $800 bill that the roofer will, will charge you to repair it. Often people uh, accept wildlife uh, as long as it's in its place. A lot of times uh, they like to see wildlife uh, in wild areas, but when it interacts with himself, that's when the problem arises and that's when the animal becomes a nuisance. Beaver are large rodents, and like rodents, can overpopulate an area very quickly. Preferring softwoods like aspen, tag alder, and poplar, beaver will quickly chew down all of these type trees along the stream. This behavior tends to make beaver colonies nomadic, migrating up and down streams to fresh supplies of food. Building dams and dome houses, beaver can relocate quickly turning small streams into big ponds, sometimes in backyards or near roads, causing problems. It's a good, good adult here. When you get adult beaver uh, in your traps, usually the first night or so, you got an established colony. And when you got an established colony in an area, usually means uh, you've got plenty of beaver in the area. The beaver is a very uh, an engineering marvel in the animal world. It's one of the very few animals that can create its own habitat. Uh, we spend thousands of dollars coming in here building roads up over these creeks, uh, building it up uh, to the point uh, where they resemble a beaver dam. And the easiest thing for a beaver to do is come right into a culvert that uh, allows the stream to go under the road. That's where it's narrowed down the most. Uh, that's where it's the easiest to plug up. And that's what they've done here. And by, by plugging up these culverts, they create uh, a uh, little havoc with, uh, with the roads here and cause millions of dollars of damages at times. And this is one thing we're trying to eliminate. Uh, we want the beaver uh, to remain in the ecosystem, but we need to learn to live with it, and the beaver needs to learn with, to live with us, too, in this, in this ecosystem. You know, steel traps, snares, and conibears are used by wildlife professionals to harvest problem beaver. But the relocation of beaver is another matter, as not only do you need suitable habitat to relocate the animal, but it's more expensive and requires special equipment. Currently, my wife and I produce and manufacture all the Hancock traps that uh, are available today. Uh, there's uh, 87 distinct steps that we have to do uh, in the manufacture of the trap. They are all handmade. There's approximately five hours of work involved with every trap that we manufacture and ship out. The major purchasers of these traps are uh, game and fish agencies, uh, wildlife research people, wildlife damage management people, uh, city parks, etc., that want to remove problem beaver. Uh, and they've been developed uh, by different people for the use in otter trapping, too, for both uh, reintroduction efforts and relocation efforts. So they've been used for uh, otter work also. Yeah, that's a big one. Hey, fella. We're going to find you a new home. You're not welcome here. Well, when we relocate these guys, we try to do it as fast as we can so there's not much stress on the animal. This guy weighs about 50, 60 pounds. Well, as you can see, uh, the live trap efforts uh, that we've uh, used here are working. Uh, we just set this trap last night. 
I've caught several hundred beaver in live traps over the years, and uh, one of the reasons we catch them live like this is for relocation efforts. We will take this beaver who's not wanted in this drainage, that's doing quite a little uh, depredation and damage to uh, the trees and the shrubs in the area here. Uh, we'll relocate him into an area that he'll probably do some good uh, for other wildlife species along with himself and uh, give him a chance to survive uh, in a different drainage where he may be wanted. <laughs>